all right welcome back to best art classes with prosper in this lesson we shall be dealing with alumov have we heard of alumov before or does the word sound strange to you all right in this class you will get to understand everything about alumov alumov is the variant of a particular muffin the phonetic variation of a particular muffin in terms of tenses in terms of number which is singular and plural or in terms of article is what we mean by alumov because each word determines the kind of muffin either s e s or e d depending on how it should sound in a particular word so each word determines what should be added to it and if it comes to the articles if a word starts with a noun starts with um, a vowel sound the articles that comes before it becomes what and but if it starts with a consonant the article that comes before it is what a it does not change meaning at all alumos do not change meaning it only adds more meaning and makes the word look different but it does not change meaning it can only change the the words um the structure of the word it can change anything about the word, but it can never change the meaning of any word that is why we're not talking about open single uh, word and opposite here we're only talking about the number which is singular and plural tenses which is present tense, past tense, past participle, and all of them, and articles, which is A and. First of all, let's talk about the types of alumovs. We have the replacive alumov, the zero alumov, and the supplective alumov. Let's first talk about the replacive alumov. In this replacive alumov, some segments, some letters in that particular word change. To form the past tense, uh, or to bring in the to, to, to change the words, the number of that particular word. For example, brother, brethren, goose, geese. So it is only um, some letters in this particular word that change when it comes to replacive alumov. The entire word do, do not, uh, does not change. It is only a letter inside, inside of it that change, that changes. But when it comes to zero alumov, zero alumov does not change anything at all. It does not add anything. It does not remove anything. It remains the same way it has been. For example, the plural of water is water. The plural of sheep is sheep the past tense of hate is hate h i t hate so it does not change anything at all even the past tense of hearts it seems as hearts fish fish you don't add anything you don't change anything that is for zero muffin but when it comes to supplective muffin supplective muffin it changes the, the, the shape of the word in its entirety. The word changes from the way it has been to another form. Let's take for example, you have the past tense of go. You can, can, you say, uh, can you say good? No. You say go, went. It has changed the word in its entirety. That is for what? For supplementary muffin we have another one the comparative as positive of bad bad words worst it changes the word entirely bad to worse what does w-o-r-s-t have to do with b-a-d good better it that is supplective on its own we also have is was is was mm -hmm. is was am are I am, we are. Uh -huh. So it changes the word one first in its entirety. 
So allomorph is the alternatives, the, the variant of the same morphine in relation to what? To the sounds. Listen to the sound or the spelling of that particular word. You listen to the sound and the spelling of that particular word. That is what we mean by allomorph. I believe this one is, this class is very, very interesting and it is understandable. In the next classes, we will be talking about um, other kinds of morphemes and breaking different um, words into their smallest morphemes and still going detailed into sentences. But if you like this video, you like this class and you feel you have learned something for this class, please like this video, comment and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel and God will bless you. For now, answer these questions, work them out, and drop the answers in the comment box. I love you all. Bye-bye.